Hello, 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 everybody. How are we doing today? I hope we're doing great. How has the weekend been? I hope it's been great. <laughs> Mine has been good. I thank God. Mine has been great. Um, <laughs> let me quickly pray before I'm going to today's business. Father, I just want to exalt you and give you praise. Thank you for who you are, Shem Days. I bless your holy name for who you are, God. You are a mighty God. You are a great God. You are a beautiful God. I ask for mercy, Lord. Have mercy upon me, God. In whichever way I have sinned against you, Father, have mercy upon me, God. Let your mercy find me, God. In that most precious name of your son, Yeshua, I ask for mercy upon your people, King of glory. Wherever they've got any wrong with you, Father, have mercy upon them. Let your mercy find them, O God. Father, we'll gather there again to do your business as usual. Lord, I ask that may I not say what you haven't asked me to say, and may I not do what you haven't asked me to do. Let your spirit take preeminence. Holy Spirit, take control. I decrease for you to increase. Be everything that's going to be done today be according to your will, O oh God. May it not be according to my will or according to the will of anybody, but according to your divine will, Jehovah. Use me as you please, King of glory. Use me whichever way you want, God, for I am available. Thank you, Abba Father, for answered praise. Thank you, King of glory. My beautiful God, my beautiful King, my Savior, the lover of my soul. Mahia kasule hi mahama suhika zile hi ama mahila hi ama suhika sila hi ama hi ama iye kasila hi ama mahi mahi kasule hi ama hama sihila hi ama suhiala mahi mahi le 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 ma suhia kasila hi ama hi ama hi ama mahila hi ma ukazi ama sehila hi mo suhia le hi kasu mo hi le kasu ma hama suhila hi ama se ma sula hi ama hi ama suhi Mahi ele ele ma suhi kazia ma mahi ele ke suma hama suhi la hia ma mahi mahi ele ye ke sume hi ele ma ukazia ma mahi ma suhi la hia ma se hi le hia ma suhi ya mahi ele ye ma suhi le hi ke zu hama si hi la mahi ele ma suhi ma hi ke su le hi ma hama suhi la hi ma suhi ele hi ma suhi ma ha mahi ele ma hu se hi le hi ma suhi ma ha ke su hi ma mahi la hi ma suhi Mahi le hi ma suhi la hi mahi mo suhi la hi ma suhi la hi ma su le hi ma suhi le hi kasu me hi ma ha mahi ma suhi le kase ma ha ma suhi la hi mahi mahi suhi le hi ma suhi la hi ma suhi la hi ma se hi le le hi kasu hi mahi suhi le hi kasu me hi mo hi le hi kasu ha le ma suhi kasi le hi ma su la hi ma suhi la hi ma suhi le hi ma mahi le hi kasu le hi ma ha ma Masuhi eleke sema ha, masule hi ya ma o esehi kasuma ha. Masi a a imasuhi eka sele hi, a masuhi ele ya masuhi kasele. Ma hi ya masuhi ele hi, masuhi la hi, ma hi ya masuhi ele hi, masuhi le hi, a masuhi ele hi, masuhi la. Ma hi sehi eka suma ha, masuhi la hi. Ma hi ele hi, masuhi ele hi, ma o sehi la. Ma hi ya masuhi le hi, ma o masuhi ele kase ma ha. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, King of Glory. Let your will be done, O oh God. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. Let your will be done, God. Thank you for answered prayers. 
in Yeshua's most powerful name. Oh my God, I pray. Hey, Masuke Sina Hima. Mahia Masuhile Hia Masuhile Hia Ma Mahima Iesuhile Hia Masuhila Higa Suhima Hamasu Le Hima Suhile Hia Masuhika Suma Hamasu La Hia Masuhile Kesema Hamasuhile Kesuma Ha Masule Hila Hia Masuhila Himo Suhile Kesema Ha Mosule Hia Masuhile Lele Kesuma Hamasu La Hima Suhile Oh my God, let him assume he can assume he. Masuele he can assume he. Mahama so he can sell it. Masie he can assume he. I'm going to assume he. He can assume. Oh, he can assume. He can assume. He can assume. He can assume. Oh, he can assume. He can assume. Le le he. I'm going to assume. He can assume. He can sell it. Masule he can assume. Le he can assume. La he ma. Ma he can assume. Le he can assume. He ma ha can assume. Le masule he ma. He can assume. He ma ma he can assume. He can assume. He can sell it. Ma he can assume. He ma he can assume. He ma ha can assume. La ima ikase, ma ie akasule hie ma su hie ale kasume hie ma amasula hie ma ma ie su al oh my God, Father you are a great God. There is no God besides the God. You are the God that knoweth it all. You are the mini potent God. You are the mini shien God. You are the many present God. You are Jehovah Nisi, the covenant keeping God, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. You are the God that knows it, oh God. You are the God that has a final say. Our Father, there is no God besides Thee. Father, I worship you this hour, oh God, with everything that makes me me, Father. Let my worship come unto you as a sweet smelling sound, oh God. I come into your gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I come into your hearts with praise, oh God, because you are worthy of my praise, our Father. You are worthy, King of Kings. You are worthy, God. Without you, Jehovah, I am nothing. What can I do without you, my God? You are my strength, my keeper, my source, my everything. Thank you for loving me, so God. Thank you for loving your people, so God. Thank you for that great love. Thank you for that great sacrifice, God. Thank you. Thank you, God, for that precious blood. That blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. That wonderful blood. That blood that is able to do. Father, I thank you for that precious blood of your son, Yeshua. Let that blood continually speak, Father. Let it continually speak for us, God. Let it continually speak. For Father, we do not take it lightly, O oh God. That sacrifice, we do not take it lightly, O oh God. Because we know that it was a huge sacrifice, Father. Thank you, Father for loving us so. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Ishan of Days. My beautiful, beautiful King, who is like unto thee, O oh God. In heaven, on earth, and underneath the earth, who is like thee. There is none, and there will never be any. You are glorious in holiness. You are fearful in praises. Doing wonders every day. Because you are a wonder-working father. Mm. That I bow before your throne of grace this hour. And I say, blessed be your name, O oh God. I bow before your throne of grace this hour. And I say, Abba, Father, I love you, God. 
that without you, I am nothing. I bow before your throne of grace this hour, God, to say you are worthy of my praise, to honor you, God, to say thank you, Father. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna to the highest. Mm. You are a great and mighty God. You are beautiful in all situations. You are the joy of the whole world. Yes, you are God. You are a great and mighty King. You rule in every nation. Father, I just want to say thank you, God. Be magnified, oh Lord. Be magnified, oh Lord. Thank you, Father. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you still, even if you chastise me, God. I can never stop loving you, King of glory, because you loved me first. You made me to know what it means to be loved, Father. Thank you, Yeshua. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. Oh my God. Today I just feel like worshiping. <laughs> because there is nothing else we can do but worship the most high God. That is what we're born to do. That is why we're here. To worship the most high king. That is our job to worship him in truth and in spirit every day, every time, any time because he's worthy. Because he's worthy. So I want to welcome you all today. <laughs> I want to welcome you all today. Thank you for always, you know, pressing in and doing your part. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate you so much for not falling short, for always being there. I'm doing that which God has called us to do. You know, so <sighs> without holding ado, let's go into today's business. Today, um, I lay down and the Lord started speaking to me as usual. And he just said, I should read um Matthew 16, 24 and 26, James 4, 1 to 10, and then 13, and then 2 Timothy 15 to the end. I don't know if I can read them all today, but I'm going to do my, my best. Today, we're going to be talking about take up your cross. Take up your cross. So we're going to look at Matthew 16, 24, and 26. Let's start with that. Then Jesus said to his disciples, oh, this is the LNC version. I'll also read it King James as well, okay? If any of you wants to be my follower, you must give up your own way. 
take up your cross and follow me. If you try to hang on to your life, you will lose it. But if you give up your life for my sake, you will save it. And what do you benefit if you gain the whole world but lose your soul? Is anything worth more than your soul? Oh my God. I remember I told us that that's the only valuable thing that we have, our soul. There is nothing else that we have that is as valuable as our soul. And yet Jesus is asking, is asking, is anything worth more than your soul? No, that's all that you have. You know, that's all that you have. You know, so I'm going to read it King James that says that then Jesus said unto his disciples, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me for whosoever will save his life shall lose it and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what is it a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? You see how important our soul is? Our soul is really, really important. Then we're also going to look at James 4, 1 to 10. Basically, this is, this is what the Lord just wants us to talk about. They just said, read the scriptures. Read the scriptures. You know, so... From whence comes wars and fightings among you? Come, they not end, even of your lust, that war in your members. Ye lust and have not, ye kill and desire to have, and cannot obtain. Ye fight and war, ye, yet ye have not, because ye ask not. Ye ask and receive not, because ye ask amiss, that ye may consume it, consume it upon your lust. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Do ye think that the scripture saith in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy? But he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, God resisted the proud but give it grace unto the humble. Submit yourself. This was, this was where, you know, this was um, what the Lord was speaking to me about before, you know, everything else. He said, submit. He said, a lot of people, let me read it before I get there. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil and he will flee. A lot of people read the scripture and just say, oh, and resist the devil and the devil will flee. But you forget to say that you need to submit yourself first to God. You cannot just, re you cannot just re um, resist the devil or rebuke the devil and he will flee when you've not submitted yourself to God. So people misunderstand the Bible. You know, they just speak and select a path that makes sense to them because that is what they like. And that's what the Spirit of the Lord was saying. People just pick it to let the part of him that they like and abandon the other part. They, they never tell the people that before you can rebuke the enemy for him to flee from you, you have to submit yourself first to God. That is the most important thing. If you don't submit yourself to the master, how can you operate the master's, how can you operate in the master's house? If you're a servant in somebody's house, for you to have access and be able to do the things that the master wants you to do or what the things that the master has said you can do as a servant is when you submit yourself to your master. You must first of all submit yourself. If you don't submit yourself, how are you going to you know, be able to do the things that you're supposed to do? 
So you can rebuke the devil, you can rebuke the enemy all day long and he will not flee. The enemy will just sit back and laugh at you. Why? Because it is not just about rebuking the enemy. It's not just about rebuking the enemy. You know, it's you submitting yourself first to God. And then when you not rebuke the enemy, the enemy will flee. But if you don't submit yourself first to God and say, oh, the Bible says that if I resist the enemy or rebuke the enemy, the enemy will flee. No, the enemy will not flee. Let me just tell you. Let me just tell you. First and foremost, you must submit yourself to God. You must accept the, you must accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior and repent from your sins before you can start operating these things. And that is why we have a lot of fake pastors and a lot of fake ministers. And that's how God will continue to expose them. Because they don't do, they refuse to submit themselves to God but they just come out and begin to speak the word of the Lord and say, thus say the Lord. Oh, the Lord said this, the Lord said that. But behind closed doors, they are not submissive to God. They are their own master. But when they come out into the open, they pretend like, oh, they, they are right with God. But our God is the God that sees everything. He knows everything that happens. He sees everything that happens in the secrets. You can't deceive God. You can't deceive God, you know? You can't. Then 17 says, that's the, the same James 4, right? 17 says, Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. Like I said, I like the LNT version because that, that, you know, that actually makes more sense to me than uh, the King James. And it, 17 says, Remember, it is sin to know what you ought to do and then not do it. It is sin. If you know that you're supposed to do this, like I said, that this thing will cause sin. You know, it gets to a point where sin is just not about you fornicating or it's not just about you lying or stealing or setting things or the general sin that we've come to know. For you to know the right thing to do and still not do it, that is sin. It means that you have sinned. And that is why it's good to always ask the Lord for mercy because nobody is perfect. You cannot be right all the time. I've said this before and I'm saying it again because there are things that you do that you don't even know that are sin. You don't even know. So every day when I pray, I say, Lord, have mercy upon me. Even though I've asked for mercy in the morning and I need to pray in the afternoon, I still ask for mercy because it's so easy for us to, to, you know, for us to, to um, what's the word to use? For us to miss it with God. So when I ask for mercy every time that I pray, it's not because I like to just ask for mercy, but if there is anything that I have done that will be an interest to that prayer, let God have mercy. If there's anything that the person that I'm praying for has done that will be an interest to that prayer, let God have mercy. So that prayer can go on to God because your sin can be a blockage. You know, but today we're talking about taking up your cross and following the Lord. That is what the Lord is asking of us. You must be ready to, you must be ready to lose your life so you can gain it in God. Like I said, it's not one leg here and one leg there. If you're with God, you're with God, 100%. If you're not with God, you're not with God. You cannot have one leg with the Lord and then have one leg with the enemy. How, how does that work? It doesn't work. And that's why there's so much commotion and confusion and ed chaos and everything. Because people just want to gain, take from God, but they don't want to put in the work. 
Anywhere you go to, there are rules and regulations. Like I told us the last time, I said, if, if they take you from the slum to the White House, there are rules and regulations. Anywhere you go to, there are rules and regulations that you have to obey, whether you go to school or you go to work or wherever you go to. So how come people do not want to obey the rules and regulations of God? They just feel like they don't need to obey. They can just come and take. Who, who even made them think that that is how it works? Who even made them think that that's how it works? For you to gain from the Lord, you have to obey his rules and regulations. It is paramount. It is very important. It is necessary. So if anybody says that, no, you don't need to do anything, you don't need to make your ways right, just, just pay your tithe, or you don't need to make your ways, just sow your seed, or you don't need to make your way, just, just sing unto the Lord, or whatever thing that they tell you to do. I'm telling you today that it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. You must be ready to take up your cross. You must be submissive to God. You must submit yourself first to God before you begin to oppress the things of God. So I want us all to understand this and you know, change this mindset that we have that we can just do whatever thing that we want to do with God and it's okay because Jesus died for us and so his grace is sufficient. It doesn't work that way. And that is why the Bible says that on that day, the Lord will rebuke you and say, you go, you, well, you workers of iniquity. I know you not. Why? Because you cannot just do things and think that, you know, you can just do things and it's okay. You cannot follow Jesus if you don't deny yourself. It's not possible. So for you to rebuke the enemy and for him to flee from you, you must first submit to Jesus. You must first submit to God. And that is why sometimes they say, oh, I tried this, it doesn't work. I tried that, it doesn't work. Oh, the scripture doesn't work and all that because you have refused to submit. You just want to have it on a platter of gold. Like I said, we all have our, our, um, our parts to play just as the Lord has his part to play. And God is saying that I am always ready to play my part. Well, you have got to play yours. You know? And to 2 Timothy 15, 6, work hard so you can present yourself to God and receive his approval. Be a good worker, one who does, one who does not need to be ashamed or who correctly explains the word of the, who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly explains the word of truth. Avoid worthless foolish talk that only leads to more godless behavior. This kind of talk spreads like cancer as in the case of Eminius <laughs> and Philetus. They have left the path of truth, claiming that the resurrection of the dead has already occurred. In this way, they have turned some people away from the faith. But God's truth stands firm like a foundation stone with this inscription. The Lord knows those who are his, and all who belong to the Lord must turn away from evil. In a wealthy home, some utensils are made of gold and silver, and some are made of wood and clay. The expensive utensils are used for special occasions, and the cheap ones are for everyday use. If you keep yourself pure, you will be a special utensil for honorable use. Your life will be clean, and you'll be ready for the master to use you for every good work. You know. I mean, the, the, the scripture just explains itself. Like, I don't even need to explain anything. And that's what the Lord said to me. So just read, when you go out there, read the scriptures to them so that maybe they will understand. You have to, you have to, you have to put in your, you have to put in your own part, you know, for God to approve you. You have to show yourself approved. And that's why I told us the other day, I said, God has spoken these words concerning you, but you have to leave these words. 
And the essence of you leaving this world is so you would know for sure by yourself those things that the Lord has already spoken to about you. You know? So you would know for sure those things that the Lord has spoken about you. And by the time you live through it, you know, you, that means you have shown yourself before the Lord that yes, you are ready. And that's when you live through it and come out of it, that's when you have passed the test. And that's when the Lord can say, yes, I can use this person. You know? So we need to make our ways right, people of God. We cannot say we follow God, but we're doing everything that is against God. They say action speaks louder than words. So you can stand here and shout, I love God, I love God. Oh, I do this for God and I'm doing that for God and God this and God that and God. You can say, but your actions actually show if you really, if you really mean those things that you say. It is your action that shows. So we need to pick up our cross and follow the Lord. The time has come. This is not a time for us to be lukewarm. This is not a time for us to be cold. It is the time for us to be hot. We need to know where we stand. Where do you stand? Do you stand with God or are you standing with the enemy? This is the time for you to make up your mind and choose the path that you want to follow. And, you know, the truth is that it's not just about making up your mind to, to, to know the path that you want to follow. Because when you make up your mind and say, I want to follow God, it means that you're going to do everything that the Lord has asked you to do. You're going to obey what the Lord has asked you to do. You're going to submit yourself to the Lord. You're not going to say, yes, I'm going to be with God. But then you're living deep in sin. Because the Holy Spirit cannot dwell where there is sin. I have told us over time, Sin is a no-no for God. God cannot be old sin. God cannot be old sin. So even though he has brought Jesus to reconcile us back to him, even though you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, and you still live in sin, that's the same thing as you not accepting the Lord. So if anybody tells you that no, you want to, all you need to do is just say you, you accept Jesus. And once you accept Jesus once, that's it. It doesn't matter. Whatever thing that you do, Jesus, the grace of God is covering you because you have accepted Jesus. The grace of Jesus is covering you because you have accepted him. That's not true. When you accept Jesus, you have to put in the work and begin to walk. You have to work out your salvation. You have to begin to say, no, I don't want to do these things anymore. You have to begin to see these things as what they really are. But there are things that the Lord cannot be old. And like I said, if you love somebody, it's just like your parent. If you love your parent and your parent says, I don't want you to pick up this pen. Because of the, because your love and respect that you have for your parents. And because you reverence them, you wouldn't want to pick up that pen because you know that your father doesn't like that pen or your mother doesn't like you picking up that pen. And because you also know that picking up that pen has consequences. Because if they have told you, I don't want you to pick up that pen. If you pick up that pen, I'm going to do X, Y, Z. They're going to do X, Y, Z. You know that picking up that pen has got consequences. So you would not want to pick up the pen because you're not ready to be beaten or whatever it is that they say. Or maybe they're going to um, ground you or something. How, so why do you think that it is different with God that you want to do your own things different with God that you just want you don't you just want to do whatever thing that you want to do and like you're doing God a favor by make by saying that you accept Jesus as, you know some people do it like oh if I just say I accept Jesus as my Lord and personal Savior that's all that I need to do like you're doing God a favor but like I told her it's the other way around it's the other way around it is God that is doing you a favor because He knows the end and He doesn't want you to go to that place. He doesn't want you to go to that place. So he's telling you, my son, my daughter, come back, come back. Because where you are going to, the end result is destruction. So come back to me. Come back this way. Come back this way. Come back this way. Do it this way. Do it that way. You know? Like I said, this is what the Lord has called me to do. To come out here and talk about salvation and, and let people understand that they need to make their ways right. And I can't stop doing it. So every time I come here, you know, I'm going to say, 
Now I've noticed a lot of people don't even want to hear it, but that's fine. Whether you like to hear it or not, whether I'm the only one that is here talking, and I don't mind. Because that is what the Lord has called me to do. So it has got nothing to do with anybody. It has got everything to do with me. Go out there and tell them what I have said. Yes, the Lord knew that a lot of people would not want to listen. Because they are so used to this watered down gospel. They are so used to this gospel that, you know, is half truth. So when somebody is talking about what the Lord wants you to do, they don't want to hear that. But I will still come out here because I know that God is the one that, you know, has the, he has the hearts of everyone in his hands. And I know that he's going to turn the hearts of anybody that he wants to turn, you know, to just hear his voice and acting onto his voice. But like I said, I will do my part. My part is come out here and say what the Lord has asked me to say. And I will continue to do it. Whether you like to hear it or not, I will continue to do it. So we all have our parts to play. Let's all play our parts the way that we should play. Let's all pick up our cross and follow the Lord. I can stress, I can stress it enough. I can. It is very important. Your life, everything about you depends on it. Don't listen to all these philosophies and ideologies or whatever thing that they call and that people come here and say, oh, there is no God. Oh, this, oh God, oh, this and that. How did you human, how did you men come into this world through this and through that? All that one is story. All that one is just for them to keep deceiving you so you will not make your ways right. Everything in this world comes through something. The animals, humans, plants. So I don't know where you, where they think that you just came from nowhere and just, you know, started living or that you were, you were an ape and then you started to change and change and change and change and change until you became human. So what about these apes that are there now? How come they've not changed to humans? Don't listen. Listen to what the Lord is saying. God is the creator. We are his creatures. He created us. Nobody else did. We didn't come from anywhere. So there is God and he's real. And he's the one that is asking you today to make your ways right. To make your ways right. And come back to him. Come home to your father. He's waiting. He who has created you. He's calling you back home. He's calling you back home. Come back home, my people. Come back home. And begin to do things according to the way that the Lord wants it done. That being said, like I said, excuse me. This is what the Lord has called me to do, and I can't stop doing it. You know what I mean? I can't. Because this is my part. This is my part. And I pray, you know, that these words that I come out here to speak every day, telling you about making your ways right, you know, we're all um, acting onto the voice of the Lord. Like I said, yes, it is my voice. Yes, I'm the one that is saying it. But it is God that is speaking. It is God that is tugging, tugging on your heart to make your ways right and come to him. You know what I mean? So please, let's all act in onto the voice of the Lord and do that which he has called us to do, to make our ways right and begin to, to chase after him with all of our strength and all of our might, because that is all that we can do. Okay, people? 
Just try, take one step at a time. Before you know it, you are there. So today I'm gonna to be inviting my sister Sherry, my friend, my sister Sherry, onto to come and intercede for us. Because like I said, what God has called us to do is to intercede for his people. So we have got to do it. Whether we like it or not, it is something that we have got to do because that's what he has called us to do, you know? So I'm gonna call my sister Sherry to come online and intercede with me for the people. Hey! Hello, Sherry. <laughs> oh God, it's good to see you, my friend. You too, my friend. Uh oh. How have you been? Fine. How are you, my friend? I'm great. Thank you, Derry. Thank you. I really appreciate you coming here to intercede for the people of God. Okay, that also brings me back to um, this group. You know, like I told you guys, the first time I had people in the group, but the Lord said that he needed people that will come, I will want to intercede for his people because I'm not supposed to just, this is not my group. I'm just the admin to the group. You know what I mean? But God yeah. is the owner of this one. God has said that I want people that will come here and intercede for my people. And he said, so ask them if they are willing to intercede. But, you know, I can't really force anybody to come and intercede. You know what I mean? Amen. It was all a great deal. If we can take out time and just say, oh, Ceci, I would like to intercede X, Y, Z day. You know, I don't want to chase people around to come intercede because the, it, for, we interceding for people. We're not just doing and God's will, but we're also paving way for ourselves because as we're interceding for others, others are interceding for us even without us knowing. Just as the people that were interceding for don't even know that we're interceding for them. You know what I mean? So it would be nice if, you know, uh, the people in the group will really take their time, you know, and make up their mind on coming to intercede. Like you don't really need to know how to pray, like I said. And that's what the Spirit of the Lord said to us. Said in the course of us interceding, oh, okay. give the different gifts, you know, of the Spirit to His people. And but if you don't intercede, how are you going to get the gifts? Okay, we intercede in tongues. I, don't, I can't pray in tongues. It doesn't matter. You can just come online and say, "I want to intercede for the people of God." And once you open your mouth, the Spirit of the Lord might just come upon you and you start to pray in tongues, even though you've never done it. You know. Sometimes we need to take that step of faith to do those kind of things. We have to believe God. You know what I mean? So as this is to the members of the group. It would be really nice, you know, if you can make up your mind and create time to come into city. You know that we all intercede on Wednesdays at 3 p.m. and on Sundays at 6 p.m. I don't want to chase you or, you know, tell you that this is the time I want you to come into city. Whatever time that works, you know, works for you, it would be nice for you to just make up your mind and come into city because you don't know what God is going to do. Amen. 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 So amen. Please, um, Sherry, please. <laughs> God, have your way, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Ike ashe komori ashe ga. 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 Yes, Lord. Hear the Lord say that the reason why you know, it's good for us to come and intercede together is because when two agree concerning a thing, yes, it will be established. It will be. 
you know yeah. so this is just not me but when you come and we're interceding together that means that we're in agreement to that thing that we're interceding for so it's just not about you know physical thing this is more spiritual than we than we know or than we think so it is good to obey the voice of the lord it is good to obey the voice of the Lord. Yes, we don't know what we're interceding for, but God knows it is his will. It is his divine will we're interceding for. And that's all that matters. And when you intercede in the divine will of God and you're in agreement with somebody else, you don't know the seriousness of that prayer that you are praying. Yeah. Sherry, go on, go on, go on. I hear, the, I hear the Lord saying, it's not about you. Yes, it's not about you. He's asking, he says, his ways, his ways, not our ways, yes, his Lord. ways. He created us yes, to Lord. do his will, to make our life right with him, to make our ways right with him. The Lord said, I'm calling you. I'm calling you. Answer the call. I'm calling you. Make your ways right with me, said the Lord. Make your ways right with me, said the Lord. Ika ishe komari ashega. Ika ishe komari ashega. Po sho komari ashega. Ika de 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 ashe komari de 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 ashega. Po sho komari de ashega. Ika ishe komari de 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 ashega. Po sho komari de 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 ashega. Ika ishe komari de 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 ashega. Po sho komari de 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 ashega. Ika ishe komari de 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 ashega. Po sho komari de 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 ashega. Ika ishe komari de 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 ashega. Po sho komari de 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 ashega. Ika ishe komari de 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 ashega. Po sho komari de 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 ashega. Oh, he can sue him as to he lay him as to lay him a hamasula him. My soul, I him as to he can sue him as to he lay like a seva. Oh, he lay here must to he can sell him as to he lay here as to her. My lay up as to he can sell him. Oh, my God, I lay up as to he can sell him. Oh, my God, I shake here, shake on my shaga. Make our ways right with you, Lord. Make our ways right with you, Lord. I hear the Lord say, even that. those of us in this group, we need Jesus. to make our ways right. The ones Eka. that are, that know that their ways are not right with God, it is oh. time for us to begin to make our ways right so you can come out and intercede for the people of God. Because you don't know what joy it is that it is the little prayer that you were able to pray that saved the life of somebody somewhere that you don't even know about. Amen. It is a great thing. Yes, Lord. But how can you come and intercede for the Lord to even hear your prayer if you don't make your ways right? Amen. For you to come out here and, and, and intercede for the people of God, you have to make your ways right. You need to be sure that your ways are your ways are right with God. Because yeah. this is not a place for us to play. We're not playing in this place. What we're doing is what God has called us to do. And we have to do our own part so God can do his part. It is not about joining all sorts of groups. It is about joining a group that you know that the Lord can reach you or meet you at the point of your need. Yes. Yes. That is what it is about. Ika you can join 10,000 groups on Facebook. It doesn't change anything. Your life is still the same. Dang. But it's about joining a group that you know that, yes, this is where I want to be and do the things that God has asked you to do, which is to make your ways right and come yes. and intercede for his people. Yes. We're not here to judge anybody, but we're here to let you understand that it's time for you to examine yourself and any way that you know that you're falling short with God, you begin to make your ways right with God. And once you begin to make your ways right with God, you need to come out here and begin to intercede for the people of God. Yes. Amen. It is mandatory. You should count yourself blessed that the Lord wants to use you to do his will. The Lord wants to use you to do that thing that he wants to do. 
that is a blessing on its own. Yes. It is a blessing on its own. That he found you worthy. Yes. To intercede yes. for the soul of another. Yes. A great honor. We need to stop seeing things the physical way. Yes. Make our we need way to back. start seeing things in the spiritual way. Everything doesn't need to make sense to us. Amen. For us to do it. Because God says his ways are not our ways. And Amen. his thoughts are not our thoughts. So it yes. cannot make sense to you. The things of God will not make sense to you. Because God is not operating on that frequency. So you need to let yourself be available so God can God can use you to operate on the frequency where he's operating. Yes. Do it, God. That's why he's there to pick you up and not to bring you down. Check he has to take check you to that frequency where he is. But how can he pick you up and take you to that frequency where he is? If you just want to remain down all the time. Jesus. If you're not even willing to try. If you're not even willing to stretch your hands up. Just stretch your hand and say, God, here I am. Is that too hard to do? Oh yes, God. You remember in the scripture when the, the, the master was leaving it ah. and gave talents to his servants, and then the other one that he gave one talent buried his, and then when the man came, he brought back the one talent and gave to the man. Yes, God has called us all to do his will. Yes. What have you done? Have you been able to even intercede to save the soul of one person? Jesus. We're not even talking about five people right now. We're not even talking about 10 people. Just one person. Oh, because God has saved you, you just want to remain saved. You don't want to save the others. Okay. Just the way God saved you, you're supposed to pray and intercede so others can be saved as well. Okay, can this can is go? 1934 <laughs> And I would just want to say, oh God. I hear the Lord saying, many are called, but few are chosen. I hear the Lord saying, many are called to do, but few are chosen. He said, I want to use you, and I want to use you for my glory. Amen. But he said, if you're not a willing vessel, he'll find somebody else to do it. Lord. He said, I want you to be willing to do the Lord's work. Be anxious to do what I tell you to do. Yes, be yes. ready. He said, be ready. Not getting ready. The Lord said, be ready. Amen. Because I want to work. I want to use you. Yes. But if you don't want to be used by me, it is. He said, I'll choose another vessel. He said, I'm ready, God. I want to be used by you, God. 
Use me up, God. Not my will, God, but God, let your will be done in my life, God. Not by power, God, but not by my God, but by your spirit. Say the Lord. Yes, Lord. For God said, for God said, I'm sending your inter- I'm sending my intercessors to you. I'm sending my intercessor to intercede for you. God said, I don't want no one to be lost, but I'm sending my intercessor to warn you. I'm sending them to warn you before it happens. I'm sending warning out, said the Lord. Prophet says he is the warning. She's warning the people, said the Lord. She's warning you to current, make your ways right with the Lord. Make your ways right with the Lord. Come, 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 said the Lord. I ask this servant to send my, to use my word and say, make your ways right with the Lord. 
Make them right with me, said the Lord. I'm warning you. This is the warning. I hear the alarms going out. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Make our way. Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Have your way, God. Yes, God. Have your way, God. Oh, my sex sila hima suhiala. Have your way, God. Masula hima sehika sele hima suhiya masehika sala. Masula hima suhiyeka sele hima suhama sehika. Seka zuma hama suhila hima suhile ke sema. Masula hima suhile hima suhile hie ke suma. Ma hile ke sele ke suma hama suhila la pasuma e. Ma sele ke zema huma sehile le ke sume he ma hakasula. Masula hima suhile ke it is the intercession of other people that has made me not to consume those Jesus. that have refused to obey me. Oh my God. I hear the Lord say, I hear them crying out day and night, day and night, asking for mercy. I hear the Lord say that I hear them crying out day and night, day and night, asking for mercy. I hear the Lord say, I hear them. I hear them. And so I, 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 I hold back. I hold back because of the few that are crying day and night unto me. Yes, Lord. Yes, because Lord. of the few that are crying yes, day and night unto me. Yes, Lord. Have your way, God. The few that have stood crying day and night, crying, crying, crying. Jesus. I hear them. Jesus. Jesus. I hear them. Let them know that I hear them. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Let them know that I hear them. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let them know that their cries are not in vain. Thank you, God. Let them know that their cries are not in vain, for I hear them. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Shekha. Oh, my God. Yes, Lord. Have your way, God. I hear the Lord say, I see them on their faces. Jesus. Cry out unto me. Thank you, Lord. Asking for mercy. Mercy, God. Tell them that I hear them. Thank you, Lord. Have your way, God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I, thank you. I hear the Lord say it is time 
for us to begin to cry out unto him. Even you that is speaking, it is time for you to begin to cry out unto me. Now stop. My heka sole hima hika sole hima hamasui. I hear the Lord say yes. There are people that are crying out every day. They are crying and crying and crying and crying on their faces. There are people still doing that. What are the rest of you doing? Have your way, God. What are the rest of you doing? What are the rest of you doing? You just say that you know me. You just say that you serve me. You just say that you come upon me. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my God. Jesus. Have your way, God. I hear the Lord say there are some who have dedicated their lives to crying out to me. That's all that they do. That's all that they do. Crying out. That's all that they do. What are the rest of you doing? Jesus. What are the rest of you doing? Jesus. What are you doing? Have your way, God. Do it. Have your way, God. What are you doing? Have your way, Lord. This is not a game. Jesus. This is not a game. Jesus. This is not something you come in and go out. You come in and go out. You Jesus. come in and you go out. This is not a game. Call if you're me, in, God. you're in. If you're yes. not in, then be where you want to be. This is not where you come in and you go out. You come in and you go out. You come in when it pleases you and you go out when it pleases you. That is not how it's done. Make your ways right. Make your ways right. Yes, Lord. Make up your mind on where you want to be. Wherever you chose to be, be there. Yes. You can't run both ways. You can't run both ways. I urge you to come back home where you rightly belong. Yes. Come. Come back um, home where you rightly belong. Yes, yes, yes. But you have got the free will to do as you please. Yes. Will to do as you please. But it will profit you more to come back home. Yes. My suhama suhie kasule hima hama suhie kasule. Ahima sui kasele hima su hima hika sule hima su hile hie kasule hima hama su hile hie kasuma. Ahila hie masu hie kasele hima hama su hile hie kasuma hema su hila hie masu. Mahila hie kasule hika suma hama su hile hie kasule hima hama su hile. Yes, Lord. You can be lukewarm. Is it that you are hot or you are cold? Yes, yes. You can't be lukewarm. Amen. So do you want to be hot or cold? Um, that is your choice to make. Enough. Enough. Enough of this trickery. Enough. Enough. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Have your way, God. Mahika Sule, he must so he la, he must so he can sell a he, Mahama Suhi. Come, come, come. 
Mm. Lord, say, mm. love for you will not stop my rock when the time comes. Amen. Have your way, God. When the time comes. But my people will be safe. Yes. Our people will be safe. Yes, God. But I am the father that knows how to take care of his own. Yes. But I will take care of my own. Thank you, Lord. There is too much sin. Everywhere there is sin. Everywhere. Everywhere there is sin. Yes. Yes, Lord. You look this way, you look that way. Shake it, Ashiga. There's too much sin. So much sin in the land. But I hear the Lord saying, I'm giving them a way out. I'm giving them a way out, said the Lord. I'm making a way for you to get out. All you got to do is answer the call while I'm knocking. I'm knocking, I'm knocking, I'm knocking. Come out, said the Lord. I'm giving you a way out, said the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. The praise yes, Lord. The yes, Lord. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We thank, thank you, God. God. Thank you, Thank Lord. you for your love, that precious love. Yes. Your love, thank God. You, Father. Yes. I hear the Lord say, don't take my love for granted. Amen. Don't. Don't. Don't do it. Shake for my ashiga. God, I will thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. The will and only your will alone be done, Father. Yes, Lord. We we'll give you glory, we we'll give you honor, we we'll give you praise. But I will thank you for answered prayers, God. And yes, we'll Lord. For the lives that you have touched, God. We we'll thank you for your word, oh God. Yes, Lord. We'll thank you for the miracles that are taking place, God. Amen. But I commit your daughter and her family into your hands, oh God. Father, Lord Almighty, King of glory. Thank Continue you, Lord. To guide and protect them, oh Lord. As you have done, oh God. Father, yes, you are Lord. the one that knows the need. Yes. Father, Lord, meet them according to their needs, oh God. Thank you, Lord. Whatever thing, oh God, that they are asking of you, provided it is according to your will, Father. Yes, God. Granted unto them in the name of Yeshua. Yeshua. Thank you, Lord. Today's word and intercession, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Abba, Father. Thank you, Father. Amen and amen and amen. <laughs> Thank you, Sherry, for coming yeah. on. I really appreciate you. I bless God for your life. Love you. Love you too, sister. <laughs> Bye. 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 Yes, ma'am. <laughs> thank you so people it's all about god what he wants how he wants it when he wants it you know we need to do our part even me that is speaking i need to intercede more i need to intercede more i need to take it more seriously because today 
I've come to know that there are people that have dedicated their lives to just interceding. Oh my God. There are still people that have dedicated their lives to just interceding for the people of God. I never knew. You know, we need to do our part. I mean, we need to do it well. So thank you for joining us. I love you, but God loves you best. Always remember that no one can love you as much as he does. So make your ways right and come home to your father. Have a blessed and fruitful week. See you on Wednesday at three. Make it a day, okay? Bye. God bless you.